Butter from the Duck. I'm here with Reed Dollars, a.k.a. Alright guys, we're going to start down on the mat. Pull your foot all the way to your booty as tight as you can pull it. And we're going to pull up on the foot to get the calf. Um, for the purposes of what we're doing, we're holding about 5 seconds each movement, but you should hold each movement about 10 seconds. So we'll hold that stretch straight up and down, then we'll rotate the foot inside and pull up again. Nice stretch, opening the calf up. Then from there, we'll roll that, that ankle out to the outside and do the same thing, pull up. Good. Now once we're finished with this position, we're gonna put the heel, or actually we'll do the other leg first. So we'll go through that. Same thing, make sure your heel is as close to your behind as you can get it. Try to keep your back nice and tall. Again, we'll pull straight up and down. Then we'll turn that foot inside. Stretch the outside of the calf and also hit your ankle ligaments a little bit. Stretch the tendons in there. Get everything loosened up and then we turn the foot to the outside again. From there, we want to hit all parts of the calf. So now we'll move our heel out to be um, the heel right along the side of your opposite knee. You should feel the strip, it should hit a, a totally different way. Again, pull that foot up, um, 10 seconds. Again, we're not quite holding the 10 seconds because we want to get through the stretch and show you everything. Then you turn inside, again, and pull up. And then you go outside again and pull up. And, <clears throat> and then you switch and you do your other side. The other side. There we go. Inside, and then we're gonna pull it back around to the outside and pull up on the calf again. And then we'll move to the next stretch. Okay, now sticking with the calves, we are going to get a mat straightened out here. Um, you start your position on your knees, back flat, hands on the ground. And I'm going to turn around so you can get a better angle, one from the front, one from the back. We are going to anchor the feet, the toes into the ground, and push up. And the, the trick is keep the arms straight and keep the heels into the ground, you will definitely feel the stretch into the calves. Not too much pressure. If you can't keep your heels flat, don't force it. That just means you got room to get better at it. All right. Now you can put your right leg on top of your left leg as you see me doing there. That'll give you a little bit better stretch on that side. And then you switch, put the left leg over the top of the right and continue to stretch. And you also can move them in a pedal fashion, just like this. Can't do anything without your feet, guys. Feet have to be good, your ankles have to be flexible. Now, last one, you can put your, your right leg over the top of your left and then bend that left leg. Gives you a better stretch, it hits a different portion of the calf. Then do the same thing, throw the left over the back of the right and then bend that right knee. It's a nice stretch. Good. All right, for the next stretch, let's stand up. And what we're gonna do is just roll the ankles. So. 
On the left leg, we're gonna roll counterclockwise and then clockwise, and then we'll switch to the right ankle and do the same thing, roll counterclockwise and clockwise. Normally, I roll each side about eight times. Just making sure the angles are nice and loose, man. No adhesions, <clears throat> no impingements. Just keep everything moving smoothly. Yeah, let me just get that, that doggone thing out of there. Yeah, we dollar throw that thing out of there all in our way, little buddy. So just roll them out. Alright, moving on. Now we've done the back of the ankles, the side. Now we want to stretch the front of the ankles and we accomplish this by just sitting on our feet. So you can see our toes are pointed, knees are together, um, and we're sitting back as far as we can go. Now for some of you, I know you won't be able to do it, so just use your hands like you see me doing to take the pressure off if you can't get all the way down. And you can take pressure off and then slowly remove your hands so you can slowly get more flexible. This one stretch alone will help you get faster, guaranteed. Especially if you're tight. Now, if you're flexible like myself and Reed, you can spread your knees a little bit, spread your feet, and you sit back in between your feet. That way you can get a better stretch. And here again, this is another one where you can use your hands like Reed is doing there to like alleviate a little pressure if you want to or allow a little bit deeper stretch. All right, next we are gonna go to the right knee down and the left knee up. Push into the stretch. Notice the angle of the front leg at 90 degrees. We don't wanna go over that. That's putting undue pressure on your leg. Make sure you push into the stretch. As you can see, Reed Dollars on the left, um, on her right leg, that extension really hits the hip flexors. This is a great stretch for your hip flexors. Um, keep your toe ass muscles loose so that your lower back doesn't get tight. It's a really good stretch. Next, take your left arm, put it inside your, your uh, left knee. And if you can put it to the ground, that's great. If you can put both arms on the ground, that's great. If you can't put it to the ground, that's okay too. That just means we have room for improvement, right? Next, you're gonna use your left hand as an anchor to, for your balance. You're gonna reach back with your right, grab your right foot. All right, and if you're really good, then you can bring your body tall, grab your foot with both hands, you see? And that's a great stretch for your quad. You're still getting the hip flexor. You're getting a little bit of glute on that left side. So now then we'll switch. And just like always, remember, you wanna hold each position about 10 seconds. We're moving a little bit faster here, you know, just cause of the video. Um, now, oh, one more extra one with that left leg. Um, we're going to straighten it and turn it into a hamstring stretch. Again, if you watch Reed Dollars, she is really doing a good job of trying to keep her core tight, um, her back straight, causes a better stretch. Notice how on the left foot the toe is up, now we're straightening that toe. Hits the stretch a little bit different. So hold it there. Now we will switch. So now we are right leg up, left knee down. And we'll go through that same process again. Pushing into the stretch, chest up. We'll go with that right elbow inside. There we go. Now we're gonna use that right hand as an anchor, and then we're gonna reach back with the left, grab the foot, if you're good. Now you can notice how in this position, Reed is more straight up and down than me. That means she's just more flexible. That's my room for improvement, keeping my body straight up and down better. There you go, turn it into the hamstring stretch again. Nice and easy, never force it, don't bounce. Straighten the foot.
Yes, sir. All right, this next stretch we do is called a pigeon. As you can see, we'll take the left leg, pull it in front of the body, push the right leg straight back, hold your chest up nice and tall, really good for the hip area, hip flexors. To add a little bit more concentration on the stretch, a little more intensity, we go down on the ground. Again, you wanna hold it for about 10, we're holding it for about five, 10 seconds, we're holding it for about five seconds. Now, it's also great for the quad when you grab the foot like this. Once again, when you grab the, the foot, you also wanna try to stay as tall as you can. All right, the left leg, now let's come around and do the right. Same thing, stay tall. Then we're gonna go down on it. There we go. After this one, we're gonna come back and grab the foot. Yep, get the quad. Again, using the off hand for balance. All right, that's the pigeon. All right, next we're gonna go inverted hurdle stretch. Bring the left leg in, right leg straight, upper body nice and tall, and just lean into the stretch. You'll feel this in the left hip that's on the leg that's bent, and on the hamstring on the leg that's straight. Now after that, you're gonna bring that left foot on top of your right thigh and go back into the stretch. Now some of you may not be able to touch your toes on this one, that's okay. Just go as far as you can. Switch it. Now we're gonna go with the right leg in, tuck in as far as we can take it, and down on the hamstring again. Hold it for that same 10 seconds, and then you're gonna put that foot on top of the quad just above the knee, and back down on the stretch. Good. All right, now we're gonna go both legs out in front, toes up, dorsal flex back towards your head, and now we're gonna go down on both. Work to keep both of, your, both of your legs nice and straight. Again, you may not be able to go down as far as we are going down right here, but that just means you have room for improvement. All right, now we're gonna open the legs up. Nice little stretch here, back nice and tall, and down into the stretch, there you go. Lower backs, um, very good for that. Hamstrings, you also get into the adductors. Then we go over to the right side, hold that stretch. And then we're gonna come back over to the left side and hold that stretch. like it. Now we're going to twist the trunk. So just twist to your right using your right and left hands as anchors. Back nice and tall, spinal twist, and now back to the left. Good. Now we're going to lean over to the right side, get the muscles in the rib cage. And over to the left side. Ah, boy, I didn't even know I could lean that far. You like right, GOS, you it down. All right. Now let's bring the left leg in. I call this the pretzel. Right leg over, and we just want to hug the knee. Now, if you cannot tuck your left leg like I have mine, just keep it straight like so and hug the knee. But this is where we want to be in this position. Being able to sit here with no hands. So we'll hold this position and then we go to the spinal twist. All right, then we switch them up. We're gonna bring the right leg, right leg in and the left leg over. Hug the knee. Once again, if you can't get in this position, you can keep your right leg straight. It makes it easy to get into the position and then twist. 
Make sure you're always breathing when you're stretching. You can't breathe if you're holding your breath about to pass out. Now we are going to move into another stretch for the hips. We're going to lay on our back with our knees up. Put the left foot across or ankle across the, 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 the or excuse me, the left foot across the ankle of the right thigh. Arm through the hole and pull back. You'll feel this in your hips, especially that left hip, the one that is across the thigh. Now you grab that ankle and just rotate over to the side, concentrating on trying to keep your knee straight up and down, kind of how you see Reed Dollar's knee on her left leg, straight up and down, you feel the stretch. Now I'm tight here, so I suck at it, but I'm trying to get better. All right, now same thing, we're gonna cross it back over the other way. Right leg across the left thigh, arm through the hole, and pull back towards your body. Same thing, stay in that position, and just roll over to the ground, while still keeping that right leg, trying to keep that knee as straight up and down as you can. That intensifies the stretch. I like it. All right, for this next stretch, we're gonna go knee on top of knee. So bring in the left leg like so. Take the right and pull it all the way over. Some of you may not be able to get in this position at all. We wanna be able to sit back in the hole. You can see I'm not quite knee on knee, but I'm pretty good at it. Reed Dollars on the other side is a pretzel for real. I don't even know if she has bones. I don't know how she gets like that. So if this one's a little bit tough for you, you can pass this one up until you get flexible enough to at least try to get into the position. Same thing. Now I got the right leg on the bottom, left one on top. Very, very great stretch for the hips. But again, if you're not ready for this one, you might want to pass this one up. This is a more advanced stretch, but I love it, so I wanted to show it to you guys. All right, next stretch, we're going to stretch the front side. Both legs back. Hands flat on the ground, and we are just pushing into the stretch and relaxing and stretching the whole front side. Ab muscles, you get a little bit of your uh, hip, flex, hip flexes in here, and then we twist to the left, twist to the right, good stuff. Alright, now last one. On your belly, bring your knees up as wide as you can. You start with your, your elbows out away from your body, right? Hold that position for, for 10 seconds and then you slowly walk your hips back towards your feet. Your body will tell you when to stop, believe me. It's a good one. Great for the groins, man. Great for the groins. the hamstrings one more time so feet together all the way down keeping the legs straight go down as far as you can if you can touch your head to your knees that's great all right if you can't let's work to be able to put our hands on the ground and slowly get there lots of room for us to improve here in this stretch just continue to work at it and be diligent again hold it for 10 seconds and that's it that's another stretch of routine for you guys Remember, Athlete's Life, man. If you need anything from us at Patreon, on our Patreon page, let us know. We will post it. Let's get to work.